Hey there, fellow travelers. Mark here with Walter's World, and today we're here in Ocho Rios, Jamaica, with a beautiful sea behind me. This is a fantastic country to visit. And before you go to any country, though, no matter how fantastic and wonderful it is, like Jamaica, there's things you should know before you come here so you can have a better time. Because things that might upset you, if you kind of are prepared for it, you're not really upset with it when you know it might happen, okay? So we're gonna go through some of those things here today, what you should know from accommodation to food to just sites in general and some safety tips, okay? So to start off with, a lot of people have asked us, Mark, you need to put in some stuff about what we should pack when we go. Okay then, well, I'm gonna start with packing. Look, if you're gonna be coming here, there's two things you definitely wanna pack and bring from home. One is sunblock. Bring good sunblock. Remember, we gotta reapply it. I have been, and you can tell I'm still getting a little red because the sun is very strong strong here and you have the reflection off the water whether you're on the waterfalls or you're here on the beaches and stuff like that you will have that the second thing is bug spray so a lot of people like you remember the sun because oh jamaica it's the beach but the bugs here man the little mosquitoes little bitey bugs man there's a lot of them here so bring your bug spray the thing is you can buy them when you are here i just found that they're a lot more expensive here on an island <laughs> and you know tourist hub than it is back home so hit up your nearest walgreens when you're taking go heading out or your boots or wherever you're flying in from and just grab some good sunblock and bug spray i'm just gonna tell you them right now another thing you might want to bring is actually some aqua socks or water socks or water shoes you got a lot of different names for them but wait basically what you're going to use them for is if you're going to be going to like like the blue one of the blue holes or dun river falls or something like that you kind of hike around and then you go down waterfalls but with the rocky terrain and the slick terrain and stuff like that you need a little bit of a grip when you're doing those things and you can't take the flip-flops there and you can't wear normal shoes there because you're going to get in the water having those water shoes really can make a big difference they do sell them at a lot of the places here so you can buy them when you're going to the site but if you already have them from home just throw them in your bag to save yourself the money uh, when you're going to those things because think about it i mean we're, the place we went said they rented but they didn't have our size to rent Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, so I had to buy four pairs at $12 a pop, so that was 48 bucks to get those. So save your money, bring them from home. Other things you wanna pack. Hey, look, it's Jamaica, it's laid back. So it's t-shirt and shorts weather pretty much all year round. So you'll be fine with that. Bring I would bring a couple of pairs of swim trunks too, cause you might have one that gets a little sandy, you wanna have it for the next day. So you have those things. One thing I will say, most people when they come here stay on a resort and a resort's very much a laid back atmosphere. And yes, Jamaica's a laid back atmosphere too. But one thing I'd say with your clothes don't just wear your swimwear out into the city i mean if people are there they're going to work they're doing their normal jobs and if the tourists are walking around their bikinis or just their swim trunks and, and no shirt that that's kind of a put off for the locals which might give you a little like not as friendly service as you usually are used to here in jamaica so just throw a t-shirt on over top and a, and a normal pair of shorts and you'll be okay if you're going to be going into the mountains and this is one thing that surprised me because when you think of jamaica you just see the beautiful beaches all around and maybe you know trench town and bob marley and kingston and stuff like that well actually when you go through the center of the country there's lots of hills i mean it's like beautiful hills but if you're going to be going there like in the evening time and stuff like that it can get a little chilly so definitely make sure you bring like like just one just one you don't need anything more just one like long sleeve shirt to kind of deal with the chill you might get in the evening air if you're going up in the mountains or the hills when you are here um, i guess i should talk about the weather because i'm talking about the chilliness and stuff like that look you're gonna be fine with shorts and t-shirt all year round okay that, that's not gonna be a problem the busy season here basically starts january december and it goes through march that's the busiest time of the year the time when you really probably don't want to come here is july and august because that's when it's insane hot and you do not want to come here then i mean i've talked to our guides they're like yeah like come any other time of the year you'll be okay but not july and august August. If you're worried about hurricanes, hurricane season is July through November, though here in Jamaica they don't tend to get a lot of hurricanes, but I mean if you want to know when those seasons are, that's when that is. Now if you're looking at how you get here to Jamaica, most people either you're going to fly in or you're going to be on a cruise. If you're coming on one of the big cruise ships, you're going to come here in the north coast kind of by Ocho Rios around here. That's where most of the cruise ships come in, so you will have that. Um, if you're going to fly in, there's two international airports, well there's, there's more than that, but there's like only two that usually tourists might end up using. The big one is in Montego Bay or Mobe. You'll hear a lot of people just call it Mobe. There is that and that's where like the vast majority of tourists go because that's where the beaches are. That's where all the inclusive resorts are and things like that. Then you have Kingston, the capital. That's another international airport. You can go there. If you're going to be coming for a beach vacation, you're going to be flying to Montego Bay. Just want you to know about that. Okay. Now, when you do get here, you might want to wonder like, okay, I've got here. How do I get around? 
Well, if you want to do public transportation, you can take public buses around. Um, if you're going to take buses between cities, there's kind of two different versions. There's a fancy version that has like internet and TVs and, and air conditioning and a, and a drink when you're there. They have that and it's going to be probably double or triple the price of the local bus, which is uh, like a little sardine can you're going to be going in. So we do have a heads up for that. But the thing is, if you're looking for your budget, the local bus will save you a lot of money, but will not save you a lot of space. Okay. So maybe pay up to take the more, the nicer buses going around another thing you can do and it's actually what we did is we actually got a driver for our time here because i'll be honest having a driver to know when to honk and when to pass and all these kind of things it's a lifesaver okay because they know how things work also if you get a good driver they'll take you and get you the right puddings they'll take you to the best jerk shops they'll tell you about like the culture and stuff like that it really help you learn a lot more about jamaica whereas if you're on a bus it's just a bus going but a driver will give you a lot more i know our buddy michael our driver michael we've really become really close with him on our time here and it's been a really fantastic experience and really added to our enjoyment of Jamaica. And I guess I should also warn you, if you are here, you'll notice they drive on the left, like in England, okay? Not like on the right, like in the US or in other parts of South America and the Caribbean, they drive on the left. So do have a heads up for when you do drive here, because yes, you can run a car and drive around. Just know that the traffic's really crazy. And if someone's flashing you from behind, that means they're gonna pass you in the evening time. In the daytime, they'll honk and it's like, phew, like really, really tight passing and stuff like that. So, so do have a heads up for that. That's why I recommend do the public transportation buses or hire a driver when you come here, okay? And the thing is when you are driving around, don't be surprised if a few goats are wandering in the road or a cow seems like it's getting close to the side of the road. Don't worry, all those cows and goats are spoken for, okay? No one lost their goat. They let their goats, their cows wander around and they come back in the evening time, no problem. But when you are driving, especially on the mountain roads, which can be a little treacherous, do have a heads up for that, okay? Now, of course, we talked about how you're gonna get around. Now we gotta figure out where you're gonna stay when you're here. Well, most people are gonna be staying on the North Coast or maybe on the West Coast like Negril. And where you're gonna stay kind of sometimes will depend like what you want. So Negril, which is on the far West Coast with the Seven Mile Beach and stuff like that, that's definitely much more of a party atmosphere, like young person vibe, party atmosphere kind of thing. That's there. Ocho Rios is more if you wanna do the adventure stuff. You wanna to go to Duns River Falls or Mystic Mountain and stuff like that. And you wanna do those kind of things. There's a lot blue holes there's a blue hole here by Ocho Rios you can do that's more for like the adventure kind of stuff and, and also I've seen a lot of families here a lot more family activities here in Ocho Rios then you have Montego Bay which probably the biggest place and that has a mix of everything whether you're a solo traveler whether you're a family whether you're you know couples and stuff like that you do have that and the thing is when you're looking at places to stay here realize there's a vast variety of resorts here okay whether it is for solo travels young travelers couples you know there's nudist ones there's all kinds of stuff here so just make sure you're doing your research before you pick a place to stay because sometimes one resort will actually have three properties in it and so there might be an adult one a family one and a mixed one and you want to make sure you get the right one for you okay now if you don't want to do the all-inclusives and if you do the all-inclusives don't lose that wristband okay because they'll make you pay they actually you can do a lot of apartment rentals here and house rentals and sometimes those rentals will actually come with maybe a cook or a driver or something like that so you can definitely check those things out before you come and maybe those are some things you can help you out with also, of course, there are normal hotels you can stay at. Like if you're gonna be going to Kingston, most likely it's like a hotel stay kind of thing versus like the big resorts like you have on the North Coast. So there is that. So you might ask yourself, well, Mark, that's really cool. We got these cool places to stay, but how do I pay here? What's the currency? Well, they actually use the Jamaican dollar here in Jamaica, but also the US dollar is accepted pretty much everywhere. So you're gonna be okay with either one. Actually, the ATM I used at my resort gave out US dollars. The ATM I used on the street, that gave me Jamaican dollars. So you can get a mix of them the thing is though depending where you go your exchange rate might be bad so do have a heads up so sometimes it's just easier just paying straight dollars and just say no just give me the dollar price i'll do that don't convert it back and forth like the tollway we took from ocho rios to kingston yeah i mean they were like 20 percent off like the official rate so sometimes you want to kind of check those things out but in general you can use us dollars everywhere but if you're gonna be doing small things like going to jerk huts and stuff like that on the side of the road Jamaican dollars are best. Now, another thing a lot of people ask about Wi-Fi, internet, all this kind of stuff when they come here. Actually, we found that we get our 4G coverage pretty much everywhere we've gone in Jamaica, which has been very nice. I will say though, you don't always get a ton of data or a high data speed when you're doing that, but you do connect pretty much everywhere, which is nice. I would also recommend downloading WhatsApp so you can get in touch with your drivers and stuff like that because a lot of them will use WhatsApp versus texting, so you can have that. In terms of Wi-Fi and the locations, I found that most resorts and most properties do have Wi-Fi, no problem there. You can get that. It might be a little
little slow, but our kids haven't had any problems. They've streamed some Netflix and YouTube, stuff like that. It's done okay. So just have a heads up. Don't expect to be blazing fast, but you will have it okay. And the plugs here in Jamaica, everywhere we've gone has actually had the US system. You might only have two. Okay, if you have a third one, there's that as well, like the, on the bottom, but they've all had at least the two ones there. Um, I have seen some uh, old places where they had a British plug plugging in the, the air conditioner, but in general, everywhere you go, it's a US plug. Okay, now, next thing I want to talk about is usually my favorite part of traveling, and that is what you're going to eat when you come here. Look, Jamaica is famous for its jerk chicken. It's a spicy rub and marinade they put on their chicken, and they roast the chicken, and it's like super juicy with some kick to it. Oh, it is so good. So you have to have jerk chicken when you're here. They also do jerk pork, which is really good, okay? Another couple really good ones, you might have oxtail or curried goat, both really good meat dishes um, with the goat, definitely with the goat. Watch out for little bones in there if you're feeding to the kids. Uh, that might be something you want to watch out for. But the thing is, they have a lot of really good sides when you are here. Festival, which is like a fried cornbread kind of stuff, is really good. It might come in a ball or kind of a stick of stuff. That's good. You got bammy, which is like cassava, flattened, bready like thing. It's really nice. You've got breadfruit, which is a fruit that when they cook it actually looks like bread. For breakfast, you might have ackee and saltfish, which is a, ackee is a fruit that when you cook it, it looks like scrambled eggs. And they'll put fish in there, saltfish in there. That's another popular thing you'll have when you're here. If you do see a Devon House ice cream, place definitely grab some of their ice cream it's very nice i'm on the side of the roads you might see people in these big pots cooking things on there there's different puddings you might have like potato pudding or or corn pudding or even pumpkin pudding those are really nice as well so you will have that the drink of the day of course is the rum and red stripe beer but there's other beers here dragon's okay and stuff like that and you can drink the tap water here no problem which is always very nice but the thing is one thing i like to grab when we're going around is actually a soda that's popular here it's a grapefruit soda called ting or ting depending who you talk to i've heard it different ways but it's t-i-n-g it's a grapefruit soda super refreshing when it's cold i mean it's so good little rum in there even better so you do have that okay now if you're looking to go shop and you're looking at what time things are open usual business hours are nine to five monday through friday saturday the shops will be open but sunday pretty much a lot of the country is closed so do have a heads up for that um if you're going to be here on a sunday so kind of plan an, act, an, an adventure activity instead of going into town to go shopping another thing that people get really worried about when they come to jamaica is actually safety we haven't had any problems when we've been here but i can see where people have had problems really you got to be careful you know going out late at night and stuff like that a lot of people just say, recommend just staying at your resort you can do those things but the thing is it's not as dangerous as everybody makes it sound the places that you don't want to go there are places you don't go especially at night that's why you have the driver that's going to tell you where to go where not to go that's why you talk to concierges and stuff like that and ask them because the thing is in general the people here in jamaica have been out of this world friendly helpful kind nice they want to help you and I, we've asked directions no one's like oh well, give me money for those directions we haven't had that which has been super awesome and i think jamaica gets a bad rap sometimes because like oh it's so dangerous it's not Look, there are issues. I'm not gonna lie to you about that. But in general, we've had a fantastic time here because of the people. I mean, don't get me wrong, the beaches are fantastic. But for me, what truly shines here are the people of Jamaica. Like I'm getting goosebumps thinking about all the wonderful people we met here. And I know not everybody's had that experience. So some things I should tell you about the people here. Look, you gotta realize, you gotta take it slow it's island time so whether it's ordering food or getting a pickup or or waiting for your bill or whatever you got to take your time you can't get upset with that i've seen a lot of tourists getting upset because of that look you got to give yourself time if they say it's a half hour give yourself 45 minutes an hour okay just so you have an idea because it takes a little bit longer time and i think that's a big thing i see people get upset with because they think oh this is such bad service i'm like no it's just slow because you're on island time here in jamaica if you come with that island time mentality it can really help with a lot of the issues that i've seen tourists have when they do come here another thing i will tell you is don't like do your yaman you know kind of thing like the accent jokes and stuff like that to people because it's kind of insulting to them okay i know when we've been here uh, i've gone to places and and our drivers taking us some places that they's like tourists don't usually go to these places which has been really cool because we're seeing real culture and people are looking at us like what are you doing here i'm like oh we're, we're here to have the chicken we're here to, to try the pudding we're here to do this and i'm like cool man that's nice and they've been so awesome about it but i will say there was one place i went and we went and like the people were like wow you're here that's so cool i see tourists here and so they're like how's everything i'm like it's going great we really love it here it's awesome and then they turned around and instead of like how tourists go yama and stuff like that they went like full midwest voice yes well i hope you're having a swell time and it was so funny because they were doing it back to me. I mean, I didn't do it to them, but they were doing it back to me, what tourists do to them with the Yamans and stuff like that. That was kind of like, 
yeah, I can see how that is kind of condescending stuff like that. So do be respectful for the people here because they are really awesome. Though there is kind of one time they're not super awesome. And that is if you go to the markets and stuff like that, or you're on the beach and people trying to sell you stuff, they are extremely pushy at the markets and they're extremely pushy when you're on the beach. So if you don't like, just like, no, thanks, no. And have some humor with it because you can get upset how much they keep asking you and asking you and asking you. You're like, just go away. Yeah, but, but you just got to have some patience, use some humor with it that'll help things kind of go a little bit easier now we should probably talk about what you're gonna do when you're here because that's one of the big things like look I'm coming to Jamaica to relax why don't relax and do things well there's beaches all over the place you know Ocho Rios has their own beaches Montego Bay has their own beaches Negril with the seven mile beach which isn't quite seven miles but it's still amazing to do the beach stuff there there is the beaches and with that there's parasailing there's scuba diving there's snorkeling there's reefs out here you can go to there's all kinds of great water activities to do which is awesome that's what most people People think but there's other water activities actually inland there's a bunch of waterfalls you can visit and you can hike the waterfalls you can swim in the waterfalls you can jump from the waterfalls there's all kinds of cool things you can do I mean here in Ocho Rios you got a blue hole that's popular you've got Duns River Falls and Mystic Mountain you can go do that there's hiking you can do you can go to Blue Mountain and see that that Blue Mountain coffee that's from here in Jamaica the Blue Mountain that's what it's named after you have those things and there are cultural things you can do too there's cooking classes I know we went to one place it was a uh, stush in the bush and and what they did is there was a vegan farm and they and they at an organic farm they made this vegan meal with like 99 different dishes not 99 but like a ton of dishes it was a really great experience to learn about these things and learn about Jamaican culture and food and stuff like that it's really cool other things if you're going to Kingston that's very much a culture visit you can go to the, the Devon house there which is just beautiful to check out you can go to yes you can go to Bob Marley's house when you're there you can go to Trenchtown do a tour there to, to learn about you know Trenchtown like that's where he came from and where he sings about a lot you get a lot of history of the city and you have have a nice little things around here when you're going there now in general when you're going into cities though there's not a lot of stuff to see there's some shops and some restaurants so you can just eat at the jerk huts on the side of the road no problem but I uh, just want to give you a heads up for those things and there are actually some plantation homes or great houses you can go check out. Uh, we actually went to Rose Hall, which was really cool, by Montego Bay. They actually have a ghost tour at night that tells the spooky history there. Um, I will warn you, if you have really little kids, it's probably going to be too scary for them. Uh, we got about halfway through, and I had to take Liam back out because he was too scared. But Caleb, who's 12, and Jocelyn, they loved it. Like, oh, I got some scares too, but it was really cool. But the plantation or the great houses you can go to, the plantation homes here, the history that are in those, man, there's some horrible history with the, the sugar cane fields and the, the plantations and the, the slavery here that you really learn a lot okay when you do go to those so definitely check out some of the great houses of the plantation homes like Rose Hall and stuff like that it is well worth checking out now you know I talked about Bob Marley and I've talked about Trenchtown but the also thing is you can go visit some Rastafari they got the dreadlocks and the, the ganja you know the, the marijuana guys and stuff like that you can see these people around you can really experience them and go talk to them about their way of life and how they see things and that's really a cultural experience in and of itself but also from that I kind of they always makes you think of reggae music and you have tons of reggae music tons of great music playing all the time here in Jamaica so it really makes it a very like rhythmic place to be because you're always like yeah I want to kind of dance around I feel the rhythm it's really a cool thing so you can go see that and the thing is there's actually a language component you might want to know when you do come here to Jamaica yes English is the official language you hear you'll hear Spanish a lot as well but they have Patois which is the local kind of like people say Jamaican language so you'll hear the Yaman which is like yes but it's for male female it's no big deal that just means yes you know you'll hear all kinds of different you know patois words so just we have a heads up for that we actually have a video on, on four patois words that tourists should know so they can meet some locals and have a good time so i hope that helped you know a little bit more about visiting jamaica we've had a fantastic time here so many great people we've met but especially our buddy michael you just made this trip so fantastic we want to say thank you to all the people that have helped us out here it's been a fantastic trip here in jamaica loved every minute of it if you want to learn more the don'ts of jamaica the shocks of jamaica what you should eat and maybe not eat when you come to jamaica check us out on our website at waltersworld.com we're also on twitter facebook instagram youtube pinterest and we really appreciate your likes subscriptions and if you like honest travel videos that help people travel better click that subscribe button click that notification bell and you'll get new travel videos every wednesday and saturday anyway i'll say bye from here in jamaica because that water's calling me bye <laughs>